were at different stages in their lives. The two of them are trying to move on, but they're both heartbroken and upset. Kareem Gobblers. My brothers, today there was a fallen soldier. My fellow kings, our brother Michael B. Jordan has been led astray, bamboozled, hood winkled, and deceived. And from the looks of it, our fellow brother Michael B. Jordan is not going to recover from this. It looks like he is in absolute critical condition. I am a huge fan of Creed 1 and Creed 2. And from the looks of it, in Creed 3, Michael B. Jordan is about to get knocked out. Not by a professional boxer, but by his own girl. Hadouken! This just goes to show you that you can never make a woman happy. And remember, gentlemen, it is not your job to make a miserable woman happy. And it's hard to see that Michael B. Jordan, he is such a great guy. He has the fame, the money, the physique. This man was in tune with his spirituality. Michael B. Jordan was so committed to Lori Harvey that he even grew out a mustache to look like Uncle Steve. <laughs> Remember, gentlemen, if she does not want to be saved, don't save her. There's a saying that nice guys always finish last and the alphas finishes on her face. May I share Proverbs 14, section 1. It states, a wise woman builds her home with her man but a foolish woman tears it down with her own bare hands because remember gentlemen whenever a man is striving in life there's always a woman out there to fuck it up <laughs> This is a certified hood classic. Your butt. Mark, mark. To this day. To this day. Michael B. Jordan and Lori Harvey call it quits after just over a year of dating. It's officially over for the power couple. A source tells ET 25-year-old Lori and 35-year-old Michael, quote, were at different stages in their lives. The two of them are trying to move on, but they're both heartbroken and upset. The pair was never shy about sharing their love and packing on the PDA on Instagram. But Lori has since deleted all old photos with the Black Panther actor from her page. Since news broke of the romance ending, it seems like the pair is leaning on their pals for support. Here's Lori catching up with her pal Justine Skye at a baby shower over the weekend, appearing to be in good spirits while posing with mom-to-be Kristen Crawley. Meanwhile, it's guy's night for Michael, but he appeared to have different energy. An eyewitness tells ET the actor attended game two of the NBA championship series, looking, quote, a little sad and unenthusiastic. Our source adds he didn't mingle or take photos. Instead, he spent the night chilling with Corday. He spoke to the Golden State Warrior general manager, Bob Myers, and said hi to g Easy. Gentlemen, I had to leave and break up with my girl because... Our signs did not match and we were not compatible. I am an Aries and she was a goddamn cream gobbler. Michael B. Jordan needs to become friends with Future. 8 a.m. Monday, she yours. She yours at 8 a.m. 
This weekend, I love her. There is a reason Future is named Future because Future saw into the future and knew Lori Harvey was the cream of the crop of cream gobblers. Lori Harvey roves from the cracks of the streets into the cracks of the streets. She shall return. And gentlemen, Lori Harvey has returned back to the streets. And remember this, gentlemen. Lori Harvey had a track record of how many bodies she has slept with. Now, if Lori Harvey was a frontline medic, she will bring so many goddamn bodies back to the tent. She belongs to the streets. Because according to the cheek slang clappalations, it states, if she has a lot of bodies in her sexual past, the relationships are never meant to last. Because take out the L in lover because it is now over. What? But you can't do this to me. You know how much I sacrificed? From my speculation and from my observation, men in the dating market, they tend to lose themselves trying to make an ungrateful woman happy. You can see it on Michael B. Jordan's face. All men can relate because we have been through this. And I want to share this with you guys. Sources claim that Michael B. Jordan and Lori Harvey allegedly broke up because Michael wanted a more serious relationship, but Lori Harvey was not ready. And what you guys need to understand is that Michael B. Jordan is 35 and Lori Harvey is 25. So here's the thing. If you understand the concepts of female nature, a woman in her early 20s, she does not want to settle down. She wants to maximize her hypergamy. But Lori Harvey does not understand that she had the top 1% of men. But what you guys need to understand is that women do not appreciate the nice guy. They need the assholes like future, the guys who are going to treat her like trash. And I'm tired of your ugly ass friends dissing me when you catch me cheating. How are you going to be ugly and a bitch? They need to pick a struggle. Hey, my name's Aaron and I'm literally not a manipulative boyfriend. My girlfriend just has a weak mindset. Listen, Jenna, after I cheated on you, you switched up. This relationship ain't the same no more. People ask me why I cheat on my girlfriend if she makes me happy. If you think one girl makes me happy, how happy do you think four girls will make me? It's simple fucking math. You need to apologize to Jenna. Hell no. She said we were forever. And then she broke up with me because I cheated on her? I don't apologize to fucking liars. I'm so fucking tired of her fat friends trying to argue with me. I'm not going to argue with someone I can outrun. I can leave the situation whenever I please. But looks like Har Lori Harvey has not experienced enough assholes yet. So she needs to go back to the streets and experience that. And this just proves to you that Michael B. Jordan, like if you look at Michael B. Jordan, he's alpha as hell. He has a nice body. He has money. He has the charisma, but he's not red pilled. He's not aware of female nature because if you don't kill the beta, it will kill you because here's the reason why Lori Harvey wanted to break up with Michael B. Jordan because Michael B. Jordan, he's blue pilled. He's chasing the relationship. He wants to get married. And when you are chasing the relationship, a woman knows that she has you. You are no longer a challenge. That's why Lori Harvey is like, oh, I already got Michael B. Jordan. I'm on to the next one. Because a woman, she wants to earn your exclusivity. She wants to go through obstacles and compete with other women. But Michael B. Jordan is pretty much putting Lori Harvey on a pedestal. Because in the name of the cheek slaying clapulations, it states... If you treat her like a queen, she will go out and swallow another man's queen. Now, in cheek slang ass clapulations, section hoology, it states. If you put her on a pedestal, she shall treat you like an imbecile. Now, in the book of the cheek pounding prophecy, it states, if you are a simp, chase the relationship. And if you are a nice guy, her cooter will get extremely dry. Now that's really dry. Look, it's just like being in the Sahara Desert. Look, it's like a mouthful of sand. 
It's like sand in an hourglass. Now, I want you guys to look at the body language and the facial expressions between Lori Harvey and Michael B. Jordan. If you look at Lori Harvey, she looks happy. She looks like she doesn't give a two rats ass fucking in a ranch Dorito bag that she just broke up with Michael B. Jordan. Here's Lori catching up with her pal Justine Sky at a baby shower over the weekend, appearing to be in good spirits while posing with mom to be Kristen Crawley. But if you look at Michael B. Jordan, he looks depressed, he looks sad, he looks heartbroken. Well, it's guy's night for Michael, but he appeared to have different energy. An eyewitness tells ET the actor attended game two of the NBA championship series looking, quote, a little sad and unenthusiastic. Because what you guys need to understand about how a woman loves and how a man loves is a man loves loyal. He's always gonna stick with you. And a man, during a heartbreak, he's going to go through it the worst. But a woman, how she loves is like a cat. Because a cat, they constantly come and go. They don't care. They're not loyal. Because what you guys need to understand about how breakups work between a man and a woman is that a woman tends to get over the breakup faster. Why? Because somewhere along the lines... Lori Harvey broke up with Michael B. Jordan. She emotionally attached herself from him. And now that she probably found another guy to monkey branch on, now she wants to announce her breakup because she found that other guy. So somewhere along the lines, Lori Harvey was probably fucking another dude. While Michael B. Jordan did not know that he was doing all these wrong things. That's why Michael B. Jordan did not see it coming. So it's now all hitting him. So... This just proves to you, gentlemen, you can have everything. You can have the fame, the body, the status. But if you do not understand the concepts of female nature, if you do not have your cheek slang Sharingan awaken, <laughs> you have to kill the beta before it kills you. Gentlemen, this is a learning lesson for all of us is that when you are in a relationship with a girl, you never want to chase the relationship. You want to make her chase it because if you give her your exclusivity too easy, she will get bored because what you guys need to understand about the mind and the psychology of female nature is that women, they have a really short attention span and they get bored very easily. This is why women do not like nice guys because nice guys, they chase the relationship and are too easily available. But the assholes, the alphas, they cause chaos, drama. They never make a woman know where they truly stand with them. And that keeps her emotion engaged because at the end of the day, people will always chase and want the things that they cannot have. And fellas, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Trespassing on my property. Get yeah, the mean, hell out of my yard. Hey, 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 JT, hey, JT, JT know, go, let go. me I have this house. JT let you have my house. Yes. My shit. He, we, we, I want it. You're trespassing on my property. You didn't win shit in my yard. Wait, wait, I, wait, all wait. of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? Get everybody out of my yard.